Hey guys, what time sakes? We're back watching the originals. This is season three, episode four, called A Walk on the Wild Side. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and remember to subscribe for future uploads. You can also check out our Patreon page where you can get early access and the full uncut reactions up to six episodes ahead. Link is gonna be down below. Help support the channel by checking that out. And let's get started right away. Is that a pumpkin? Fuck. Yeah. Oh, it's Halloween. Halloween. Hell yeah. That's cool. That's the one thing I like about the show, bro. Every, every like, you know, uh, holiday, bro, they have the, the specialized episode, you know? Yeah. Kind of. Because it's New Orleans? Yeah. And they go all out? Yeah. So, this is your version of asking me something nicely. It's an invitation. I believe bro, I told you the best. So similar to this. Who we are, what we're capable of. Every few years, we gather to celebrate our status as the most elite creatures in the world. And in the rare instance we feel we've identified someone worthy of our attention, we oh. open our doors. We can offer you a global network, resources, Jeez. access, power. You are a born leader, Marcel. Why stop at just one city? What? Maybe I'm happy with what I've got. Somehow I doubt that. Bro, he lost the first city. Let him reclaim it first. I doesn't even have this city. Yeah. It's a good way to speak to him, though. To yeah. Him peak his interest. Oh good, it's my not so loving elder brother and my former one night stand. What a nice normal <laughs> <shit. laughs> Jeez. Charming. Elijah was just catching me up on Yo, Elijah's getting kind of jacked. Your long lost buddy his arms? Trust and which one is trying to kill you? Well, clearly what the situation needs is more opinions. I assume you told her about the bloody prophecy. Hard at work ensuring my safety, I see. <laughs> By all means, come join us. Business before pleasure. Ah, well, excuse me, ladies. I got a booth in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? No, it looks like a building. It's a building, it's a building. Oh. I'm like, what like the it, fuck? No, it looked like... Yeah, it did look like a street. Yeah. Yeah. Your resources are extensive. <laughs> and you don't even know the half of it. I have spent several lifetimes building a company devoted to shattering the very limits of what is possible. I have some of the most brilliant minds in the world developing technologies that you can imagine. With Alexis as your crowning achievement, no doubt. Perhaps we should go pay your seer another visit, see if anything has snapped into focus in regards to that mysterious threat against us. If, that is, you're prepared to share your resources. Her visions are our greatest chance for survival. I only regret I didn't suggest it myself. Hmm. You know, after last episode's discussion, I do think they're trying to pull a switcheroo and Lucian's story isn't like oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. He's accurate. trying to frame the... Yeah. yeah. Trying to frame the frame job. Alexis doesn't go outside unless she has to. She's too sensitive. If she's gone, then someone took her. Or you took her. And you're playing set the game. Set up. <laughs> you look absolutely splendid. <laughs> so? Absolutely marvelous. <laughs> What exactly am I watching Sensational. tonight? One of the most dangerous and influential congregation of vampires Ooh, the world has ever known. It's a masquerade party. Noise. We had this in uh, Vampire Diaries. Yeah, we did. Masquerade party. Those days were some good times. It was. Yeah. Bro. You'd be the very first member side, not from Elijah, but from Klaus. Marcel, we think you could help us bridge the... Isn't that the first, like, red flag? That he's not an Elijah sire? We're gonna use him, obviously. If that sadistic bastard so much as touches a hair on her head. Yes, the witch's hair isn't what has me worried. <laughs> Frankly, your girl seems a bit wanton when it comes to handing out visions. Alexis would not share her gifts with him. It doesn't mean he wouldn't torture it out of her. What? You can find her. Yeah. Oh, never mind. It seems your fears are warranted. <laughs> Granted, we are the two most cunning, powerful, and handsome vampires of all time. Granted. But that still leaves us a bit outnumbered. How do you propose we fight our way into an entire secret society of ancient vampires? I have a plan. Marcel, I'd like you to meet my mentor, Mahinda. He taught me everything I know about combat. Oh, if that's the case, Mahinda? I'm impressed. As part of his discipline, he drinks only the blood of vampires he's vanquished in combat. He can go weeks without feeding, yet suffer no effects of hunger. Whoa. Such as his control over body and mind. Intermittent fasting. <laughs> <laughs> Distinguished friends, welcome. Distinguished it's so gentlemen. It's that we were able to come together like this, to revel for one night in the company of true equals. 
Now, I'd like to take a moment to welcome a very special guest, Mr. Marcel hey, Gerard. Yeah. We must determine his worth. I seem to recall you being the one knocking on my door. You'll notice, Mr. Gerard, that over the course of the evening, someone has managed to take something quite dear to you. Your daylight ring. No fucking way. Oh! Oh! oh. Bro, you got sneaked. What is going on? The test is quite simple. First, you need to deduce the identity of the thief. Then you are simply to take back what is oh, that's yours. Fun. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Kind of like a murder mystery a game. Yeah. <laughs> Although I doubt the prize will be easily relinquished. After all, despite our refinement, we're still a rather violent bunch. Is it Aya or is that too obvious? It has to be Aya. You have a few hours until dawn. As our founder and patriarch, what do you make of our latest candidate? He's arrogant. He's stubborn. Prone to self-aggrandizement. He should fit in perfectly. If he survives, I take it Mr. Gerard is a friend of yours. We're friends. And even if we weren't, I'm not much like bullies. My dear, you barely know me. Well, allow me to remedy that, and in so doing, I can explain our method. Why is Haley talking about bullies? <laughs> does she not remember what she just did right. to the witches? So it's time I consider my options. If nothing else, the Strix aren't interested in me as a sidekick. These options, as you describe them, are death sentence. I suppose I shall have to intervene. It is a shame. I expect I shall ruin my tuxedo. I have had this suit for over a hundred years. It's proven to be more reliable than you. You gotta switch that. I got this under control. Do you? I hope so. Even for those such as we, acknowledging that makes even the longest of lives all the more intoxicating. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> That's deep. Yo. Or is he doing that to get the ring? Oh, maybe. It's up her dress. A fine effort, Marcel. Yeah, there, yeah. I don't have your daylight ring. Because I was wondering, I was like, what the fuck? Able to find it, though. Like, what's Rebecca going to think? The only one among us whose life doesn't depend on the survival of the original family. You, Haley Marshall Kenner. One of a kind. Oh, she doesn't die if. Uh... Oh my God, it's a room full of Elijahs. Uh oh. <laughs> Klaus's gang. Oh, that's their plan. Yeah, they're obviously acting. Things have become clearer. Possible she... outcomes have been stripped away, and a more. She switched. She did. What is to come has emerged. The treachery. I watched them fall. I watched them burn. Every soul they've ever turned. Lucian. Oh, what a snake, dude. Wow. I watched his sire be destroyed, and I know exactly how it's done. Make it difficult. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whatever spell you I mean, choose, I will be one step ahead. Since which is the gonna witch. You walked in, I've seen a thousand be witching. ends to this little confrontation. <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay. What's up with this episode and just random makeup? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm a Michael Sin. Shit. That looks so shit. You yeah. learned that from Rebecca. He's suggesting that you're exotic dancers, which to him is an insult, if not somewhat hypocritical. But don't take it personally, love. He finds all work demeaning. The only Jeez. dignified way to accumulate wealth is by birth. Damn. Isn't that right, Tristan? Hmm? You close? The is... banter. So could I recommend that you find the nearest exit? Just yes. And could you take your playthings with you? <laughs> but now I realize I lack the flexibility to become a member. I could never get member. my head far enough up my own ass. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this party's dead anyway. <laughs> Does it mean I literally? Wink, wink. Ooh. <laughs> I have another hour. And I'm afraid that an inability to improvise is the most common of failings. Either you have an answer or you don't. What? What the fuck kind of game is this, bro? You still got an hour, the fuck? But if I was Marcel, I'd be cheese. I took my ring. I'm impressed. Yeah, see, it was there. Intense guy. Ah. Uh. Oh. I'm sorry, but I don't have Hold up, I said you took it. I didn't say you still have yeah. it. See, after you lifted it off me. Playing hot potato? You gave it to my man Mohinder over there. Mohinder. Well done. Of course, as you know, that was only half the challenge. There's no shame in dying at the hands of one superior. 
not much glory in it either. He's been working out. I mean, he lost to Aya, and if Mahinder trained Aya, then... Nah, and I'm sure I these people Marshall. are way older. Actually, Mohinder? No. Of course, bro. Mohinder? Yes. Marcella's young. Mohinder trained Aya. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, he's drinking his blood. He takes Ravain. You must have tasted it in my blood. Ravain. Oh. oh, now you're starting to feel it, aren't you? That burning sensation in your gut. Wolf we'll Spenna. Oh. A going away gift from me. Oh, never mind. I may not have beaten you, but you've lost all the same. I suggest you make your peace. We're both dead men walking. <laughs> you know, I used to find it insulting that I was barred from Oh, that's what he... Class, but now I realize I... <sighs> Oh! Why else tell me all about his little feeding habits? Or give me a taste of his technique when you came into my gym the other day? All I had to do was be observant. You want him dead? You're gonna have to do it yourself. What's as far that? as I can see, the only thing he's done to deserve it is picking his friends poorly. What a plot! A scheme! No, I assure you, he did deserve it. He's been plotting unspeakable crimes against his sworn brothers and sisters. Of course, you couldn't have known. But your restraint, your refusal to kill without cause demonstrates a rare integrity. You see, Marcel Gerard, this was the test. Welcome to the Strix. Provided, of course, you survive your own gambit. It'll be fine. Yeah, Klaus will give it. Yep. I bet they were all so <laughs> impressed. Your new mates. Oh. <laughs> he's getting oh, yeah, he's pissed off. Not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we cannot tell. Friend from foe. What are you doing? You're pledging a fraternity run by those conspiring against us. <gasps> My interest in the Strix is because of you. Whoever comes for you comes for me. That's all I need to know. So there was no need for that. What do you mean? The need was the drama. <laughs> but they may also come through you, Marcellus. Yeah. Son. Don't get fooled. Remember that. My son. <laughs> okay, there's no way that punch did that. Die. What punch? Freya's punch. Oh, her face? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is this? I thought what? <laughs> Do we get to see? <laughs> Something's wrong. It's poison. We'll have to explain this family to Hope someday. Yeah, well, good luck. She's gonna be like mom. But you know what I'll start with? Always and forever. What was your impression of Tristan du Martel? Incomplete. Because there's an Aurora! Oh! She's here. He has a sister. Aurora. Well, we know the episodes always end with her. Damn, Haley was right. His devotion to her is absolutely pathological. So you're late. The party's over. <laughs> I guess her party's just starting. She was in like Mongolia or something. Okay. Bro, if you're late, you're late. <laughs> <laughs> I got thanks for watching the reaction portion of the video. Make sure to stay tuned for the discussion. If there's any part of the episode that you weren't able to keep in the YouTube edit, click the link down below for the full uncut reaction over on Patreon. And let's discuss now. This was called something. A Walk on the Wild Side. Interesting episode overall, but I'd say a little weaker again. Yeah. It was so far, it's like every other episode is super strong. Mm -hmm. yeah. One was good, two was bleh. Three yeah. was amazing. This was meh. So. Favorite moment for me? Hmm. I think it's more so about just. You know, the whole Strix situation. Like, the intrigue is still there. Yeah. I want to know what exactly they're up to. And the mystery is what, what's holding these episodes together, I think. Least favorite. Oof. Oh, that's tough. Um, obviously, Haley. 
and I think I might do a rant. <laughs> <laughs> That's one. And the other is... <sighs> the romances in this show, honestly, they fucking suck. Yeah. Like, what, like what's a good romance that we have going? Deep. Hmm. It's a good question. I can't think of one. At this point, the best one was fucking Davina and Cole. Yeah. Most genuine. And I don't even one. care about Davina. Oh, okay. Like, like, think about that. You think know? about it's it, yeah. True, yeah. Most genuine one. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think they should just give up on that front. And... Any Elijah ass, all of them. Oh. Klaus and Camille. Nope. No. That one I can buy a little Marcel. bit. It's not that bad, but it's not really progressing. So. Yeah. Oh, Marcel and Rebecca. Nah. Well, nah, that was nah. good until this happened. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. this kind of just shits on that. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know what to think about the romance. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they'll redeem it later. We're just four episodes in. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, my most favorite was uh, when Klaus <laughs> got the wolf spain in his blood. Smart thinking, you know? By the gang and him. You mean Marcel? Sorry, Marcel, yes. What did, yeah. I, what did I say? Klaus. Klaus. <laughs> yeah, Marcel. Yeah. yeah, that was good. Uh least favorite, um, definitely uh, you know, Elijah and um Haley. Haley. Well, I keep thinking about her real name. Sorry. It was on the fucking cast. You know, mm. but uh yeah. It's just those two are just so cringe, you know. I can't handle it sometimes. Elijah's got to stop, bro. Please. Yeah, Stay away from man's uh, wife, bro. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm refraining myself from ranting. Right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You know. Yeah, that's it. I don't even know what's the point of it. Why is there still tension between them? Like, just move on. It's not enjoyable to anyone. No one is. It must have been because it feels so forced that it feels like fan service. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So maybe there's people that like it. I don't, like, bro, I don't fucking know. Yeah, Maybe. Like, there's no chemistry, so. What was my favorite, though? Uh, you know, I was hoping more from that game. <laughs> the ring game? The ring game. I don't know. Like, it seemed like the concept was cool, but the execution, like, just some random dude, like, mm. whatever. I want to add on to that. Are you done? No, go ahead. Oh, okay, yeah. I want to add on to that because I was in the same boat. I was like, oh, this could be so fun and yeah. interesting. Yeah. But instead, they made it about a fucking morality question. Oh, how dare you fucking do this? Like, this, this is just wrong and bad. Like, bro, yeah. this is the fucking Strix. Clearly, they're powerful. You think they're just going to fucking recruit you like it's a fucking religion? Like, bro, yeah. of course, it's going to be a hard fucking life or death test. Yeah. And, okay, it's that. And also, the way he solved it, or the way... Uh, it didn't feel like there was any skill or there investigation. Was oh, I had to, had to give it to that guy. It was like such a like simple. Like, it was we, yeah. anyone could have figured that out. Like yeah, really? I mean, we did. We did figure it out on site. A We're child like, could have written. I didn't that even. Scene. Dude, yeah. I didn't even say it out loud because it was the most obvious yeah, thing. Exactly. Winder, yeah, Like 100%. obviously, she was the one with him. She took mm. it and gave it to that guy. But mm. what? Okay. And then my other problem with it is like they could have really made it interesting, mm -hmm. like a like a murder mystery type. Like oh, yeah. like he he starts going around talking to people. Oh, mm. well, like how's how's your night? What, what have you been up to? Yeah, huh? I don't know. Just yeah, like, fucking talking and like yeah. figuring it out. But this guy spent the whole day just with Haley. You just like, okay. Yeah. I guess his plan was fine. No, I'm fine with Getting the werewolf bit, plan, yeah. but it just didn't feel yeah. satisfying. I feel like they could have done better. Yeah. yeah, that's all I'm saying. Definitely. Like that was the big. Like oomph of the episode, right? Mm -hmm. But it didn't deliver. Yeah. Also, I gotta say that witch Alexis? that tells you, the, the, yeah, the vision. Mm. No. <laughs> Just no. no. Why? Well, you have to expand on that. What do you even mean? Point of her. What do you mean by no? I don't even want to know my future. Don't tell me. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 what? Like I don't no, care no, no. when I'm gonna die. I don't give a fuck. Don't tell me. I think it's different here because valid. Klaus They're using them. it. They're using it as a weapon. Well, obviously, but, because yeah. they see it as a valid 
valid source of information, right? So mm-hmm. especially, especially someone like oh, Klaus, who's always paranoid, he would want to to know that, mm-hmm. you know. So that I could see. We still don't have the full picture on Tristan's side. So I don't think I'm that annoyed with that. What I am annoyed with, and I'm gonna try not to rant because it's only four episodes in. But Haley might be the worst written character in this whole universe. Vampire Diaries and Originals. Mm-hmm. And let me back that up. <coughs> she has no character. Mm. Basically. It seems she's just a fucking plot device to deliver the lines that the writers want said. So in the beginning, we need someone to antagonize Tristan. So she's throwing out fucking bully claims when she's no better, right? And then afterwards, she's giving Elijah this wisdom about Tristan being incomplete when she isn't even established as this person who can read people Mm -hmm. the way the originals can. Mm -hmm. So I don't even know how she got that information in the first place. Mm. She's a dog. She's a fine. She's a dog. She has the fucking instincts. Sure. Six sense. <laughs> but this wisdom, yeah. it doesn't feel earned when it comes out of her mouth. Uh-huh. Right. Nothing at all feels earned. And mm. I am just so tired of seeing on screen. I really just want Matt to come in the show <laughs> and take over. And that would Matt. just make me happy. At least Matt is funny sometimes. Yeah. Matt is funny. <laughs> no, Matt just makes... He's consistent as a character. Yeah. He has traits. He, is, he has traits. Like, yeah. like, tell me your traits. Bishy. I don't know. No, that's not even... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's not even a trait. That's like a mood of the day. Yeah. Because sometimes she'll act like that. Other times she won't. Mm-hmm. He's just not pleasant to be around. Yeah, that's Definitely. one thing. Or maybe that's... When someone yeah. is always annoyed, it just brings the mood down. Mm-hmm. Like... It's a buzzkill. Like, fine if, if something happens, you know, it's okay to be, you know, grumpy or whatever. Mm-hmm. But if you're always like that, like... It's fucking weird. When was the last time we saw Haley smile? Or laugh? To be fair, most of them don't, but... Well, a lot of them do. They Look do. at Marcel! Marcel is <laughs> a smiley motherfucker. Always bro. smiley That's motherfucker. why he's pleasant to be around, okay? Yeah, that's yeah. why that's we why like they, Marcel. That's why yeah. they want him to join... <laughs> That fucking the call. You have a nice That's smiling why, face like, on the call. Even Freya, like, look at all the shit Freya went through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A fucking, uh, what do you call it? A, a kidnapping. No. Wait, a millennium is. A million thousand years. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, I had it right. Yeah, a fucking millennia <laughs> of uh, slavery. Yeah. And she's out here fucking enjoying life, you know? And we could get behind Freya. Is a likable character, mm-hmm. and then we have fucking Haley. I can't believe I liked her in Vampire Diaries. I mean, do you remember those episodes? A, she was fine in Vampire Diaries. She mm-hmm. wasn't like so that. If I knew, yeah. <sighs> all right, mini rant done. Let's talk yeah. about uh, basically these. Uh, so Marcel is in the Strix now, mm-hmm. and they're setting it up to be like it could go either way, right? where he might be compelled by the idea of power Mm -hmm. and then go against Klaus. But then they also set up the other conversation with Klaus where he kind of had a valid point. It's like, bro, if they go after you, I'm fucked. There's a conflict of interest here. Yeah. Like, you can't be with them, really, if you think about it. Unless you're infiltrating. Yeah, double agent software. Which is why I think they're going to use him as a tool. Or he uses no them. they're that dumb. Like. Mm-hmm. Or they just underestimate him. They think he just, he's just, he just wants the power and he feels wronged. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's what they're going to try to like exploit. But be. maybe they yeah, just underestimate him. Mm. Yeah. That's because even though Marcel does want the power, he's loyal. there's no way he would be on board with their plans because... Their plans are to kill Klaus, right? Yeah. 
because that would defeat or like exactly. end the yeah, war yeah. or whatever. Sorry, line. Allegedly. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it'll, it'll be an interesting game of who's playing who. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I just don't get it. Also, I don't buy this. Oh, Marcel wants more than just to own the city. Like, I don't. Oh, uh, you could. A, I mean, the thing is. But you'd have to have the city first. But the, the, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He doesn't even have this city. And this city, like, he's always talking about. Oh, he wants his guys, and he's with his boys, and all of that bullshit, right? Now he wants to own a different. I don't, I don't think he wants to, but they're kind of like, they're feeding into his drive for power. And like just make him hungry for I, it, I right? I don't think mm -hmm. he's that guy, dude. No, I don't think he is either because remember he had many opportunities to leave and start somewhere else, but mm -hmm. he's like, no, New Orleans yeah, exactly. is exactly that home. this is where he wants yeah. to be, dude. So you know, I agree, but <clears throat> that's that's what I mean. I think they underestimate him. That's, that's why right. they're playing these Good. angles mm -hmm. and they're not gonna work. So Yeah. 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 We'll see how then we have um Elijah's playing an interesting role in this whole dilemma. Yeah. Like outside of the Haley stuff, Elijah is super interesting because he basically has a, a similar relationship that Klaus has with Lucen, mm -hmm. where he's like, oh, Kristen, like yeah. we made each other or whatever he said, right? Yeah. yeah. And I don't know what his actual goals are right now. Mm -hmm. Elijah, like with everything that's happened, I don't know where. Like, where do you think he stands? No idea. I mean, he wouldn't want his brother dead. So yeah, not I would just sit back and watch the chaos. Um, Two sides. Yeah, yeah, just like he did with the game. He could have stopped it, but he's like, no, let's see where this goes. With yeah, I just don't. I feel like he thinks he's. I mean, he is kind of the boss, but like he's kind he of sits is. above. You yeah. know what I mean? Like everyone else. I mean, he did kind of yeah. like draw a line here with Tristan. Mm -hmm. Right. Like he definitely showed his authority a bit. Mm -hmm. But and he didn't do that in front of other people, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. So he does want him to be the front man, you know? But everyone knows Elijah is behind everything. And if he really wants to, he would end this. Mm -hmm. I don't think he had to go in front of everyone because I think he knows that all he really has to do is just Kill the head of the company. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No. And everyone's going to scatter. I do wonder if Aurora was turned by Elijah. Do we know yeah, that? Yeah, we don't know who turned know. Aurora. That's going to make it interesting. Obviously, we want to talk about Aurora because mm -hmm. she keeps showing up at the end of every episode. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Exactly, yeah. So, Main I feel like when she actually comes into play, it has to be huge. Yeah. yeah. And if we're going off the next uh, <clears throat> the pattern that we have, mm -hmm. the next episode should be amazing. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching our reaction for the originals. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and remember to subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace.